Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now in today's video, it's a nice relaxing morning. I was thinking to myself, you know what? It's time to change up my EDC rotation, get a new folding knife into the mix. So the knife we're gonna take a look at today is the Warrior from Concept Knives. Now before we get too far, I would like to say thank you very much to Joyce at Concept Knives who has provided this product for review. Now Concept Knives is a brand that's probably new to most of you. They're pretty new to me. In fact, they're pretty new to pretty much everybody. Concept Knives is a brand new knife company that for the first time showed their blades at SHOT Show 2020. Now I was working with Carlos covering SHOT Show 2020. We did cover the concept booth. And this here, this is the Warrior. Now all of their models are currently at this particular time S35 VN blade steel, a titanium handle in some way, shape, or form, generally a frame lock, and some sort of a material, whether it's a G10 or sculpted handle or different type of laminate. So a good overall variety, all of them being on a smooth ball bearing pivot system. Now at this point, I have a lot of thoughts and things to share with you. And if you're interested in seeing a little bit more about what I'm about to get into, do me a favor, stay tuned. Now, Concept Knives. Again, as I mentioned, brand new to everybody. These at this particular time, at the time of this video, are still not quite available, but are coming soon. To most typical retailers, Blade HQ, online retailers, and things like that. So, definitely a brand that if you're interested in this style folding knife, you may very well be interested in. Now, first impressions are definitely important. I think that leaves a, a sense with a customer whether or not a product line is going to be successful. And initial impression, very good. The machining on these, the fit, the finish, the tolerances, the overall styling and choice of materials, I'm a big fan of. I look at this and I think there's a nice quality finished product here right from the get-go. So again, all of these being literally brand new models, there's always room for improvement. But with this company so far, I don't see too much that needs to be improved. Excellent overall quality, nice designs. This Tonto shape, absolutely awesome. There's a few things about this that I'd love to get into detail, so let's get a little bit of a closer look. Now, Concept Knives is releasing six models at first. So the Gremlin, the Agent, the Cryo, the Shard, the Sprite, and the warrior so here being the warrior now the warrior from what i can tell is the only one with a thumb stud the rest of them having different deployment methods but for me it doesn't really matter as long as the deployment method matches the knife and i'd say that definitely does here as you look a real slim package and that's kind of what i like about this warrior the fact of the matter is it's just real thin and sleek kind of melts away in your pocket and fits in some slimmer pockets, which is nice. Um, I have been carrying this actually in one pair of pants that just happens to have the exact perfect size where really only a knife this slim would fit into it and it's been wonderful. I do like the overall appearance of uh, a knife without the flipper. So I think the fact that this is just a nice slim profile just has that thumb stud definitely works. Now talking about the thumb stud, you do need to have sort of a very distinct deployment method. If you look at how tight the thumb stud is up against the um, actual handle scale there, you do need to be just a little bit careful, but with just a little flick of the wrist, you can get it out. Now I can tell you that this has been kind of breaking in over time. It's not the smoothest like ball bearing system. In fact, you're not really gonna get this knife to really you know, set back into place without a little bit of effort, but um, it is definitely smooth, has a good solid thwack. So again, as I do this here, nice thwack. So it got to the point in the middle of the review where it dawned on me that it really didn't seem as though this knife happened to be on bearings. Now, even though the representative that presented at SHOT Show said that all the knives had a ball bearing pivot system and all the information I could find on their website also said the same, it just seemed to me to be a little bit funny. So I carefully took the knife apart to take a look. 
Now the nice thing about taking this knife apart is that I was able to use some of my tools. The good news is this is all standard sizes. So very easy to remove this. All of the threads were machined extremely well. The knife was nicely put together and capable of easily being taken apart. But lo and behold, I did find phosphor bronze washers with Teflon spacers. Just as I had thought, the action wasn't quite right for ball bearings. But again, as I had this knife taken apart, I figured I'd take a look at all the little details, looking through the construction inside and out. Now I did have this opportunity to look at all the machining. The entire knife machined extremely well. All the details exactly the way you would hope to see them. It's nice to see that a brand new company like Concept is paying attention to all the details. Everything nicely machined, nicely chamfered, good overall machining and very, very clean. No burrs, no nicks and absolutely nothing out of place. The G10, all the titanium, the clip, and the knife blade itself, everything machined extremely well. Now, this was not a big deal because the way I look at it, I assume this is a prototype. It's not the full production model. So here I decided what I would do is clean up the washers real quick, do a nice job, sand them nice and smooth with 1500 grit, clean everything really well, get this thing put together and nicely lubed up and get it back into service. I had a number of products that I picked up from Breakthrough Clean Technologies. So here you'll see I'm using the quick wipes basically to clean up this knife as I had had it in my pocket for a while. Getting all the little dust and grime off of here so I can lube it up from scratch. And the lubrication also from Breakthrough Clean Technologies. This is the HP 100 knife oil. It does have some ingredients that can settle out if you're not careful. So shaking it up real good make sure that it's completely mixed. Lubing this up and getting it all put back together, it'll be ready for good hard use. You can see this frame lock locking up, nice positive lock up on there. Really sitting in roughly that quarter mark there, so definitely a good solid lock up. And talking about this, the materials I think was a great choice for this. It's very straightforward. I love the two-tone, and in fact, once you deploy the blade there, kind of getting, I don't know, just a multitude of different uh, colors and shapes and reflections, and it's nicely done, and I think most of these things actually complement very well. So when we get into the details, you have your black G10, your titanium, a titanium pocket clip, setting off very nicely there. Then on the S35VN, you kind of have two different looks. So on the top, on the flats, you end up with that tumbled finish. Down on the grind, it's that satin finish. Well, well done. This thing is razor, razor sharp. Just a really cool look. Now, I like all the hardware. It's that stainless hardware popping off there. You'll notice that there are no standoffs, just that back spacer, and that actually doubles as a lanyard hole. Now, one thing that I did find a little bit interesting, if you look, the lanyard hole is actually blackened, but then it's all worn off. So it's like a design element. I think it's just a little unique. You don't usually see that. It's cool. I definitely like that, and I like the fact that it's darkened here, sort of matching a little bit with the G10, but then when you flip it up to the side, it has a little bit of that worn look and kind of matches in with the, you know, the, the inside of the frame there. So just a cool look overall. I think Concept's doing a nice job, and it's definitely a great overall presentation. Now, continuing on, I do like this pocket clip. It's been very nice. It's a little bit stiff, and that's a good thing. It really only has that one bolt holding it into place, and this is a tip-up carry with no other option. You can't go lefty. You can't, uh, you know, do a tip-down carry, and that's okay to me. I'm a righty, and I am a tip-up knife carrier, so this absolutely perfect in my opinion, um, and 
when I really think about it, after deploying the knife, good overall indexing, a nice size handle, fits well, nice and comfortable. Now, as I grip it, one thing that you will notice, the uh, jimping on top, very interesting. It's uh, done in a slightly different way than other manufacturers. It's kind of little squared off dimples in there. I love that style. I think it's modern and clean and unique and just a nice fit and finish overall. Very evenly spaced, perfectly machined, and just a good overall look. Nice pivot assembly, beautifully done. Nice hardware, good overall presentation. Awesome grind lines. This blade shape is just a wicked piercer. Now there is an unsharpened swedge on top giving it a little bit of stoutness right at that tip. But what I can tell you is I have actually been carrying this and using it for utility work. Um, I've been working on my bathroom. I've been using this to like, you know, dig things out and, you know, uh, dig stuff out of my molding and uh, scraping paint and different things like that. The blade is absolutely holding up. No worries about chips or scratches or dents or anything like that. Um, no rolling and still razor, razor sharp. Just good overall quality heat treat on the S35VN and a good steel to begin with. I think S35 is obviously a, you know, a current modern steel being used a lot in uh, different blades, especially in the folding knife world. And so Concept using that as their staple right now, I think is a solid choice. Now this did come with a pouch. I am not 100% certain, but I do believe that these will likely come with the pouch. So as you look here, basically folding this up, sliding it inside. Now it can go one of a number of ways, obviously, depending on how you want to carry that. But, you know, that will slide in there nicely. This little sort of slip enclosure there, keeping that nice and tidy. So if you wanted to keep it protected, that's cool. Uh, for me, not a big deal. I don't have any safe queens at all. Every knife that I own in my entire collection is a user. That will be the case here. So over time, with a little bump and bruise and scuff and ding and dent and scratch, that's only going to enhance the look in my opinion. But again, just a nice sleek profile, very well done, nicely machined, fit and finish and tolerances on this seem to be very good. No blade play at all. And as we fold that up, very nice centering. So it appears to me as though Concept is definitely on the right direction, certainly with this Warrior model. It has been great. I have definitely greatly enjoyed this, and I am very, very excited to see what Concept has in store for the future. So all right, guys, there you have it, an introduction to Concept Knives and some details on the Warrior. So again, I'd like to say thank you very much to Joyce at Concept Knives who has provided this for review. I think this knife is a wonderful addition to my collection. I'm very happy with it. I like the overall shape, the size, the fit, the finish, and the concept in general. Um, no pun intended. Uh, I think they're doing a great job. And it's nice to see a company coming out of the box with a really strong presentation, strong fit and finish, nice products from day one. And that's just going to be a testament to their work as they move forward. Now, I'd be extremely excited to see some of their other models. I think they do have models in their lineup that look like they're a good fit for me and the types of things I like to cover on my channel. So at this point, the Warrior definitely setting the bar, but I'll be curious to see the rest of their blades and the concept development. So, all right, guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.